during the last deliberations of the budget, the House of Representatives, uh, led by our speaker, Speaker uh, Martin Ovaldez, um, made a decision to reprioritize um, or even realign certain uh, items in the budget, specifically the confidential and uh, uh, funds of certain agencies, two agencies that are more uh, attuned or more concerned with national security, our national defense. Uh, the committee would want to know whether this decision of the House of Representatives had any effect on the uh, our resource uh, agencies, the Philippine Coast Guard. I think uh, the intention of uh, the House of uh, Representative and also uh, with the Senate to boost our funding would definitely uh, support our cap operational capability in performing our role in the West Philippine Sea. But um, as to the details, um, I I'm not yet uh, authorized to disclose that um, operational details, sir. So, sir, there, but uh, there hasn't been an effect, and the effect has been positive. Well, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, the effect will still be um, felt next year since uh, the budget is still has yet to be passed for fiscal year 2024, Mr. Chair. But in line with this, the Philippine Coast Guard is preparing your, um, let's say, wish list or your uh, uh, additional requests in in line with with that uh, realignment or reprioritis uh, reprioritization yes sir definitely sir um if um you're asking um if we have uh, already anticipated uh, the positive um, impact of our increase in our um with our uh, fiscal budget I, I definitely believe sir that it has a tremendous impact to the philippine coast guard in performing our mandates not just in the west philippine sea but um in other parts of the country sir of course, sir, uh, any addition to uh, our resources or allocation uh, would be a welcome development for us. And you can be sure, sir, that uh, these additional resources would be put into good use uh, in depending our sovereignty, sovereign right, and our jurisdiction and our national integrity, sir.